Hello friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video! Do you recognise this painting? It's the Gioconda, more commonly known as the Mona Lisa, the most famous painting in the world. She looks like she's smiling, doesn't she? Or actually, maybe not. The truth is, it's a very mysterious smile. Do you know who painted it? Of course, Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest figures of all history. Leonardo da Vinci was a wonderful artist of the 15th century, of the modern age, of the Renaissance. His enormous curiosity and his desire to learn about everything that surrounded him made him the greatest genius in history. Leonardo invented and designed incredible things such as the helicopter, the parachute, the bicycle, the diving suit, and even the submarine. But these wonders had to wait hundreds of years before they could be built, because in Leonardo's time, the materials needed to make them didn't exist. Can you believe it? That's why they say that Leonardo da Vinci was ahead of his time. But we are not going to get ahead of ourselves. We are going to start from the beginning from his birth. Leonardo was born in 1452 in a small town in Italy called Vinci. Hence his name, Leonardo da Vinci. From a very early age, he showed a great ability to observe nature and also a great imagination. He was a special boy even when it came to writing. He wrote backwards. Instead of writing from left to right, like almost everyone else, he wrote from right to left, and his texts look something like this. In order to be able to read them, you had to use a mirror. Strange, isn't it? Look, look, now you can read it. It's amazing. You can try it yourself. Leonardo learned to paint with the best master of the time. Andrea Verrocchio in Florence. He was such a good pupil and such a hard worker that he quickly surpassed his master. In addition to painting, he designed buildings, bridges, and even war machines, such as this giant crossbow measuring 25 meters. He also did fun things. He worked organising parties and shows for those who invented gadgets never seen before. Like this three-wheeled contraption that resembles a car. He imagined cars hundreds of years before they even existed. Leonardo showed such interest in being curious and learning that he never stopped investigating, painting and studying about many different things, like the human body which led him to draw the Vitruvian Man, which is one of his best-known works. You can see it here. But Leonardo, above all, dreamed of flying. He studied for years the flight of birds and the bat, the only flying mammal. And he built his flying machine, the Ornithopter. It's a very funny and weird name, isn't it? As you can see, it was the first contraption that resembled an aeroplane that ever existed. But unfortunately, Leonardo never got to fly with it. But he never gave up. He kept on researching, working, learning, creating and enjoying himself until the last day of his life. And that is his true genius. The Renaissance was a time of science, art, culture and Leonardo da Vinci truly embodied this the best. 500 years later, his works continue to inspire scientists, inventors, 
artists and all the visionaries. From Happy Learning, we ask you to never stop dreaming or learning and always be curious and never, ever, ever give up. Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.